Oh, it's because I'm young, wild, and free. Yeah, the other young, wild, and free guy has a Cassante. Oh, wait. Oh! I sold him by accident. Okay, wait, this is so good for me. The fact that Soju and Weiji and Iverson are getting first and second, uh, both of them are behind me in points by quite a lot. It's so, like, this is very good for my chances of, uh, of survival. I mean, I don't know how the rest of the lobbies are going, but this, this is like about as ideal as the sixth place could get. Uh, I'm really nervous. I wish I could just get this over with and stop stressing. I'm making so many blunders. I've started to come to, like, I've started to come to accept that, like, that, that radiant item blunder well, I was probably gonna make it no matter what, or like, I was gonna make blunders like that in general, because I'm too nervous. I'm, I played this game pretty bad. Let's just get this over with and play our best. It's literally just like a 50-50 here. Fourth place, I believe I move on. Yeah, I'm at 24 points right now in the standings. And the cutoff to move on is usually 27. So if I get fourth, I'm at 29 points. If I get fifth, I'm like iffy. And if I get sixth, I'm probably out. Yeah, fifth might work. Yeah, I don't have a first place for the tiebreaker. So uh, if I go 27 points, I'm probably out. 28 points should move on. Yeah, these fights are kind of close for Soju having a three-star Kai'Sa and six Bruisers. I think it just goes to show how strong this Nyla is. Kind of a cool board, honestly. It's like Nyla without Zaya. Oh, that's kind of close. Wait. Wait. Wow. That was really close. All right. This is this is the, this is ideal for me. All right. Just focus, Albert. I'm super nervous, super stressed out, and exhausted. Let's just do the best we can here. Top four guaranteed moves on. Fifth might go on. Sixth probably does not go on. All right. I'll play the ad break. I'll see you guys after the game. Wish me luck. If I lose, it's been a good run. If I win, pog. Oh my god, not Jace's workshop. Not Jace's workshop. Oh wait. Actually, yeah. Fuck. Gamba time. I'm gonna puke. Find a good build, Albert. Get a fourth. Be a chobe item game. This guy's also thinking about it. This guy's also thinking about it. Oh, wow. Um, 20 gold start, Chinese Titan.
Chinese Titan sounds interesting with all this econ, but I'm not confident. I think I'm down for a birthday present. Yeah, I'm down for a birthday present. I like birthday present here. I have to play for a fourth. I'm down to just like do birthday present, play really aggressively, save HP. I can use this 20 gold start to push six really fast and then hopefully win out. And then I'll just slam flexible items, try to get fourth. I, I like this angle. And then like, God forbid I get level up and then I win. level to five here. Birthday present doesn't really care about your items, which is also really nice. All right, happy birthday. gloves another birthday present i'm stronger than him though lucky gloves vanquish is very contested double trouble sword crown double trouble some pretty weak players here. If I lose here, I should just Econ and then rush 7 later. A few of my matchups are pretty weak. I probably want like a BT here. Something, something generic. Okay, and then I'm gonna get 2 star, 2 cost. I pray it's a damage unit. I'm not sure what I'd want here. There aren't that many good damage units. It's a little scary actually, because if I level, there's a couple people that are strong. Actually, I don't think Wajin's going six. So once I hit six, I'm probably good. Let's grab a BT. Or like, honestly, an Adaptive Helm. I'm just gonna grab this and then at least slam a Gargoyle. I, I, I want an item that does something just so I can streak. All right, pray for a good birthday present. Oh, perfect. Okay, we're just gonna play a, a flex game. Just like rush eight, try to get nine, play for a top four. Top four guaranteed moves on. Focus on my positioning. Just make sure that I can always, or I'm, I'm like accounting for the hardest matchup. It is Jace's workshop. Level up is a possibility here. 
So I kind of want to don't I kind of don't want to level to seven later and wait for the augment because if you get level up and you didn't level earlier, you just win the game. It's a big gamble. Holy Kaisa! I don't think I can actually play it. Not in this spot. Not not without items. I don't think it's good here. Okay, I should spread a bit. Uh. A6. Okay, I didn't face him. Nice. Should be able to win this. My Renek didn't. Oh, I thought he was gonna get into a good spot. He did not. It's probably fine. This could actually be a game where I play as Zir. Okay, I think I'm gonna not level here. Yeah, I'm gonna not level. I if I if I face Casper and then lose, that sucks, but. I think there's a very real chance I get level up here. Level up birthday presents just a guarantee to win. You get to even go 10 and get another 2 star legendary. I'm down, if I lose my streak, oh. A tome. It ain't luck, it's destiny. I like sun, oh, actually I like this. It's all items on a tank. I don't want to open this yet. This world is frayed and in need of mending. Val Sunfire looks really good to me. Nice to have like a fully itemized tank. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna open this yet. He went seven. Don't face him. Don't face him. Okay, I didn't face him. All right, well, it's Jace's workshop, which is extremely gambly. If I hit level up, I just win the game. Otherwise, an econ augment is usually good just because getting level nine is OP. Uh, but most augments will be okay here. Level up, level up, level up. I think Turk might be useful. Not final reserves. I wonder if I could do like nine Shrima. I think Ancient Archive is actually good here. No. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, correct amount of traits. I, the problem is I'm probably gonna lose this round because I'm playing a prismatic down. I think it's worth it though, just to tailor my, my traits. Please give me one of the weaker matchups. Okay, so I'm gonna do like nine Bilgewater or nine Shrima. One of these two is definitely the play. It's, I should definitely go for a nine something. I'm down for either one. I'm so lucky, holy shit. All right, let's do this. Pray, pray for good RNG. Whatever the first one is, I need to then get at least a second one, but preferably three of the same trait. Bilgewater. Oh, I have a Zaya in my shop with an Ionia spat. But I'm actually... No, no. I actually believe in this. Bilgewater and then another Bilgewater. 
And then another bilge water, please. You have and now reached 2,000 pogs today. Shut up. Wait. You have now reached 100 D faces today. God damn it, guys. Please let me focus. I made my board a little bit weaker by accident. Wait, is there a chance that I win this? Probably not. Dang it. Oh, that's my bad. I I, I got so dizzy. If I if I played the Terek, I think I win that. It's okay, it's okay. Play Econ. I go nine, I think I get first place. Yeah, I think having to sell, like, accidentally selling Cassio is really bad. I was like, why can't I find seven Bilgewater? I was like, oh, it's because my three item Renekton. Just chill. In fact, I could still be offered level up later, and it's like a win. Passing around these spats like candy. You get a bilge water spat, you get a bilge water spat. for level up, it's a first. Dude, holy shit, how many pivots am I gonna make this game? Okay, it's definitely not Fiora Kaisa, uh, but I would like to play Azir somehow. Probably don't need these guys. Need to grab a Nautilus. Nautilus, Nyla, Gangplank. Mashers. Okay, let's sack one. Sack one, because it's, it's guaranteed prismatics. I actually think the odds of level up are very high here. Very, very high. I haven't seen it yet, and it's all prismatics. I've seen a lot of the other prismatics. So I actually think my odds are quite good here.
All right, come on, level up. Otherwise, I just level, sec, and then go nine. Gotta remember to not miss a Nautilus and a Nyla. Actually, my heart to see find a Nyla. Well, it's not the egg, that's for sure. No. No. I guess I'm taking Unleashed Arcana. It's not bad. I have a carry now. How long until I can go nine? Oh my god, wait. I have nine bilge water already. I just have to like go nine. I could actually do it next round uh, if I sell a couple things, but I, I think it's worth it just to like, put in the synergy and start saving HP. Uh, Shen should have been on the other side, that's my bad. Damn, missing on that, not hitting level up is so sad, but I can't really complain. This spot's kind of insane. Water spat's great. Uh, spark is great. I think just tank items, yeah. Okay, give me that spark if possible. I don't think Gunblade's that great because a lot of the damage is coming from Bilge Water. The spark will do well here. Okay, uh, I think I can like barely go nine, but it should be worth it. Plank. Oh, that's actually not bad. See how strong this is. Everybody else should be scared of me now. I've been nervous the whole day. I've been blundering the whole day. On the final game, we go full content. One roll for Gangplank. I might as well roll to zero now. So, I don't need a zero necessarily. I could replace. I'll hold on to this. I need frontline. Yeah, I need frontline pieces. Sorry, Azir. 
I want to see how much damage this Ryze does. I could give him the MF items. Holy nine bilge water, Batman. It's so strong. What the heck? The game's already over? Let's go legendaries. Let's just get... Gangplank over Graves. Nasus 2. Maybe an Aatrox 2 over Shen. We'll probably just keep Donkey rolling. In the end, my goal is to get 4th. Just play all legendaries, man. Oh, I didn't check the damage charts. I don't think I need Heimer. I lost. Wait, this guy like one shot my whole team. Bilgewater Rise. I don't know how good your ability is, but make me proud. Not bad. I think the Shen's actually here to stay. How can I make the rest of my team stronger? One last item on Gangplank. TG. Ever Archangel's Gangplank, or uh, those ever Archangel's Aatrox.
There's probably ways to play this better, but I'm so dizzy. I think I'm just keeping my current board, and then I'm trying to two-star my legendaries. I feel like the synergies work very well together. Lots of AoE. Just outlive one player. A top four is a guaranteed move on in the tournament. Just keep rolling, Albert. Get this Gangplank and it's super easy. Okay, I'll use the Item River on him later. Yeah. I was like, what if I BT him, but... I don't know how Buildwater does against this. Summon the boat. Lots of AoE damage. Holy Gangplank. These guys are all hanging on pretty well. Come on, somebody needs to die. I'll just keep rolling for Nyla Aatrox. I wonder if you could swap out this right. He actually feels pretty good here because Shen is Bastion, Frontline, and Invoker. I feel like this is like about the this is the optimal board given three Bilgewater spets. I feel like this is the correct board. Just get a gangplank item here. And then roll. Uh is it QSS? It might be Gunblade. I think it's Gunblade. I am here to test sword. Set sail. I am here to test sword. Come on. This boat should heal my front limb back up. Holy gangplank. Of all the builds to win with. Maybe rebuild the lobby later. Rogues. I can protect one person. I think I'll protect my Rise. Yeah, I'll protect Rise. Gangplank, you have to fight for yourself, okay? Come on, summon the boat, summon the boat! Finish him! Yes! Yes! Best qualification for day four! But I'm not done yet! Against this guy, Rise and Gangplank should be next to each other. Something like that. Can my Bilgewater break through this? He's got double Bramble. I mean, honestly, I, th I think I lose, but I've got HP.
Oh, one more boat. Oh. Oh, Aatrox is back. Oh, it's close. Can I give Aatrox a good item? Oh my god. <laughs> no, I am the world ender. Okay. Honestly, I was kind of thinking about Bilgewater Scion here because Bilgewater Scion can go to the back line. I mean, I actually, the Bilgewater is so strong, I might actually kill. Uh, I have an interesting idea. What if I... I don't know if this will work, but I've got HP. Let's try this. Solo front line. That way they all wrap around my Shen and then they get Bilgewatered down. Now I do a sh** ton of AoE damage. Whoa, my Rise just one-shot the back line. Let's f***ing go! Insane positioning gap. Ah, uh, hello, Soju. It's a very Soju thing to pop off after he can't make it to the next day. He went first and first. Well, actually, no, I might kick his ass here. We'll see. So let's do the same trick. We solo frontline Shen so that everyone wraps around. Let's see what happens. They all wrap around, they all get bilgewatered. Rise throws one grenade which procs bilgewater on the entire enemy team and they all die. Let's see if that works out. They're all clumped. Here's the grenade. That should one-shot the whole team. See ya. Again, the full clump, rise to this grenade, everything dies. Boop. Here's the boat! 
Where's my boat? Where's my boat? 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 Oh, okay. Let's go! My boat didn't spawn, but it's all good. What a game. We believed in the bilge water and we hit the triple bilge water spat. We went full content for the final game. Actually, quite an insane, I don't know if you'd even call it a comeback, but just an insane last game. We only had to get a fourth.